You know, just have a, have a hundred people just living in one apartment. So when we can vote in this election, Monica Tanya needs to go. She is an embarrassment.
Don't want to go to class. We don't have time to see about them. Don't want to take time off of work because we're scared we're going to get fired. Chaos in our mind. We can't even concentrate anymore. Yes. Try to read the Bible, read 10 verses, and can't remember, remember one word you read. Because your mind is racing. Yes. You get down to pray and, and, and fall asleep in two minutes. Because your mind is tired. But when that TV is going, 3 o'clock in the morning, That's a good movie. <laughs> I'm speaking truth. Y'all know I'm speaking truth. Chaos. Chaos in our finances. Oh, our money's just messed up, man. Ooh, this money just. We, we, I, we, we talk about robbing Peter to pay Paul. We robbing Peter and half paying Paul. Paul still got his hand out. And Peter checking his pockets. I know you wrong. <laughs> Chaos everywhere. I'm here to preach to you today that there is a key. Help me say there is a key. I, I don't want anybody to lose hope. I don't want anybody to, to, to lose sight of the fact that, that, that God is yet God. And the God of the Bible will be the God of your life. He has a cure for your chaos. Let's look in the scripture. Now, how in the world am I going to get God and chaos out of this tent? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. He didn't want us to know that God. Is a created God. The word create means to make something out of. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse number four, it says, The worlds were free by the word of God. That by faith we, we believe that. That the worlds, they didn't say the world, they said the worlds yeah. were framed. In other words, the entire universe yeah. was hung on simply the word of God. Yeah. That word of God. He created it by just speaking the word. But notice from verse 1 to verse 2, the transition. And it says, and the earth was without form and void. Without form and void. That there's a there's a Hebrew meaning to that word without form. And it literally means to be in a chaotic sense. So simply put it says verse number two, and the earth was in Chaos. So let's go from verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1 says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2. And the earth was in chaos. Now, there's a whole lot of folks that says that we are crazy because we believe the Bible. Now, 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 now I'm of the opinion that there is no contradiction between science. And the Bible. He, 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 hear me one up. I didn't say theories. I said science. And the Bible. The fact of the matter is that there have been discoveries of various artifacts in the earth that predate the Bible. If you go strictly by what the Bible says, this world is literally about 6,000 years old. If you go literally, going from Adam all the way up until now, 6,000 years. Literally 6,013 years. But there are discoveries, scientific discoveries that predate Adam. 
where uh, dinosaur bones and, and uh, the bones of human beings that have dated 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, millions of years ago. Well, understand that there's something that happened between verse 1 and verse 2. Because when God created the earth, don't you know that when he creates something, he doesn't create it in a chaotic state. Because at the end of chapter 1, it says that God looked at what he did and he saw that it was good. And, and so anything that God does is good. And so God is not going to create something and it's in chaos. And so something must have happened between verse 1 and verse 2. Now somebody said, well, why doesn't the Bible record it? Because it ain't none of our business. <laughs> because what God did in verse 2, he started the process of starting all over again. Yes. Amen. I love this. I love this. In, in, in the book of Hebrews, back to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 4, that word frame where it says through faith, we believe that the worlds were framed by the word of God. That word framed literally means to be mended or repaired. And so during the process of Genesis chapter 1, when God is creating the earth according to our understanding in six days and resting on the seventh, literally what is happening is God is repairing things. He's mending things back to the way that it should have. I'm preaching and somebody doesn't know. Understand that between verse 1 and verse 2, millions of years transpired. There were dinosaurs upon the earth, dragons literally walking the face of the planet, and a whole population. And, but because of the war that was in heaven between God and Satan, the whole world, the population on the planet earth was destroyed. Now, right now, you can't find a dinosaur. Right now, you can't find a dragon because everything was destroyed, and God looked saw that he was in a chaotic state. And he decided I'm going to start again. And so in verse number two, he looks at it and he says that the earth was without form and void. It was in a chaotic state. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And, and so here we find God looking at the earth. And the earth is in chaos. And, and, and I'm thinking to myself, what if God was looking at us and what would he find? If he was looking at Fort Chapel, if he was looking at Detroit, if he was looking at the planet right now, what would he see? He would see a planet in chaos. He would see a city in chaos. He would see people's lives in chaos. So what is the cure? Uh, I, I think I see a cure. I, I, I think I see something. I, I, I think I see the possibilities of, of something turning things around. In this chaotic state, what happened? Uh, the Bible gives us to know that the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. Oh, let me say the Spirit of God. Uh, the first step, the first part of the cure uh, uh, is the Holy Ghost moving on uh, the face of the water. Yeah. <laughs> 
Johnny hovers, Johnny wants something in return. Johnny gonna wanna sleep with you. Johnny gonna wanna move in with you. But when God hovers, oh God. I hear the Lord saying, I ain't gonna move in with you. I'm gonna have you move in with me. I'm gonna show you what a real man can do. Why don't you high five three people and tell them the Holy Ghost is a real man. He's a real man. Ah, he's a real. The Holy Ghost is a <laughs> Holy Ghost is a real man. He ain't gonna love you and leave you. But the Holy Ghost will stay right there. <laughs> oh God. Why don't y'all help me one more time and say, Spirit? Hover over me. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind right now. If we would just lift up our hand like antennas and say, God, if you want to bless me right now, if you want to hover over me right now, hover, 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 hover. You know how we say cover? That's what God want to do. He want to hover. Not just cover, but he want to hover. Shatabosha. Ibabosha. High five your neighbor one more time and say, neighbor, I want the Holy Ghost to hover over me. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> come, come. You sure? You want me to get somebody else? You, you, you want me to get somebody else? <laughs> That's okay. I'll get somebody else. <laughs> come here, baby. Are you scared? Come here. Amen. You ain't got to be scared. I ain't going to hurt you. The Bible said, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the The devil try to find you and he can't find you. Trying to throw stuff at you and can't hit you. Because the Lord tell somebody God got me hovering. God's got me hovering. The devil can't find me. He's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. But he can't find me. Because the Lord got me hovered. Job. 
because he wants to test us. But it doesn't mean that we're not hovered. I like this. Tell somebody, I'm hovered. Tell them, did, did, did you pay your insurance? Because if you didn't pay your insurance, you're not hovered. If you want to be hovered, you better pay your insurance. Tell somebody, I'm hovered. I'm hovered by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm covered by the Holy Ghost. I'm not worried about what may happen. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because God, because God is with me. I'm covered by the Holy Ghost. I'm covered by the Spirit of God. And that's why I have a peace that the world don't understand. While the world is in chaos, I have a peace that the world can't get with because they can't understand. I can have peace like a river and joy like a mighty stream. I get joy when I think about what the Lord has done for me. Do you get joy when you think about what the good Lord has done for you? Say yeah. Say yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. But tell somebody one more time. Say neighbor. This is what you need. You need an outpour of the Holy Ghost. If your life is in chaos, that's what you need. You don't need another psychiatrist. You don't need another psychologist. You don't need to find another job. You don't need to get another degree. But what you need is the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. What you need is to go back and get on the altar and say, Lord, give me one more chance. Lord, give me one more opportunity. Lord, I need to speak in tongues again. Lord, I need to be filled again. I haven't done all that I should have. I haven't done everything you told me to. But Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready today. I'm not going to let nobody stop me. I'm not going to let my past stop me. But I'm going. I'm going back to God. I'm going. Lifting my hands up. I'm going. I'm going back to God. I need an outpour. I wish I had a church that said I need an outpour. I need an outpour. I need an outpouring. I need an outpouring. I need an outpouring. The devil is in my house. The devil is in my money. The devil is in my marriage. The devil is on my job. The devil is in my neighborhood. I need. I need. I need. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. your neighbor by the hand hey, and say neighbor I know you're tired 
Say neighbor, I know things ain't right. Say neighbor, I know things could be better. But I got a solution for you. Tell them I got a cure for your chaos. What you need is another dose of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. 